And welcome to today's second live stream, guys, as we now break them down bit yeah. by bit. It gives us a chance to uh, have a break, have a short break, and uh, maybe some, uh, you know um, sometimes change projects uh, so it doesn't seem a little bit disjointed. So this time I'm uh, doing a little bit of work on this assault intercessor. Uh, of course, I feel like painting, and I don't feel like painting a night lord. Uh, of course, I've been doing a lot of that recently. Yeah, so the painting will be on the uh, Twitch live stream. Yeah. Um, Currently still working on Wild Decay because it's a long project. So I'm painting a Legion of the Damned um, bloke uh, for just a it's an ongoing project. What I'm constantly going to be um, working on from time to time. Um, but I'm kind of getting my head turned by Grey Knights at the minute, which is problematic. Yeah, you loyalists. I don't mind. I, I mean, one of my first armies were loyalists. Um, and they're kind of different. I love their idea. I love their play style. I think it's all really interesting. You know, hopping about all that, over the place. That's something you also seem to be uh, really into at the moment is like playing to to do like actually win at games and see if you can push your, um, your skills, yeah. your gaming skills, a bit further. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And their mobility looks so fascinating. Um. Hopping in and out of the table, um, up and down, just you know, uh, engaging the enemy at their leisure rather than when uh, they get to dictate the pace of the game. Yeah, um, I do like that. I think it looks like a very interesting play style. Um, and I did try to have Great Knights a long, long time ago, um, but I never really fully committed. Yeah, when you were telling me how they played, it reminded me of like uh, maybe the Gathering Blue deck, and then it was like if I did a, I was thinking if I did that army, I'd probably do some sort of weird metallic blue armor, just to make them look a bit different, even though they're called Grey Knights. Yeah, I mean that's definitely an option, but I think if I was going to do it, I would definitely like to try non-metallics. Yeah. Yeah. That would be. Oh, you don't need that many models either, though. So I was going to say only like thirty models. Yeah. That that'd be doable, manageable at least. Right. So this is the first layer on the highlights, which is, uh, if you've not seen this before, a 50-50 mix of Dark Reaper and Black. Uh, and I'm just going around all the edges, getting them highlights in. Uh, try and be as neat as you can, because it just saves work later, uh, having to clean it up. But yeah, the uh, Grey Knights look like an interesting faction. Uh, they're not very hot. They're not very killy. Uh, no. From no, not, uh, not from, not at least not a distance. Uh, they have some real tricks. Uh, their librarians are blooming brutal. Mm. Uh, but where is my chat box? It's a bit odd. Has it vanished? Yeah, my chat box has disappeared for some reason. Hmm. So it's definitely something. Because I'm finding, at least I'm finding Worldy is really one dimensional. Yeah. As I was saying to you I, off, off camera earlier. And uh, yeah, it's just very dull. Pop out the chat, okay. That's not what I want to do. I just want my chat back. Can I have my chat back on that window, please? Where it belongs. It's a bit weird. Yeah, we've not tried this formula before of, uh, you know, stopping halfway through the day for a break and then coming back, so. Yeah. Test it out for a while, see how it goes. Yeah, it might I mean it might not be great for the stream, but it's definitely gonna be better for us in the long run. Yeah. But some days you get very burned out. Yeah, especially those days when it's very quiet on stream. It usually is on a Monday, like. Yeah, we we were lucky earlier. Um you guys uh decided to pop in. Yeah, master one. 
some of the old faces, which is always nice. And I like to see what people are, well, not see, but hear what people are doing around the painting table. Yeah, definitely. And you'd expect the uh, the Monday chat to be more interesting in general due to uh, having done stuff, doing stuff on the weekend, but. It seems to be a little less, uh, a bit more sporadic, doesn't it? Yeah, I think uh, people just don't have the effort because it's Monday. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that. That's a bit much. Right. There's all the guns and barrels down here. But why would I want those on uh, Death Dread? I just want lots of claws, really. Possibly a Scorcher. Maybe two. Maybe. How do I get that to go back into thing? Alright, Martin, everyone forgot what they did um, at the weekend because they were blackout drunk. That's usually the case. I definitely can't um, say that's a bad idea. Ah, oh, great. Now the chat box is the entire window. Nice. Go back where you're supposed to be. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. Right. No, stop it. Why is it not in there anymore? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know what's happened there. Hopefully it'll fix itself for, you know, the next live stream. I dare say turning it off and turning it back on again will fix a problem. It often is the case. Yeah. Yeah, but then that gives you no reasoning or understanding of why it did what it did. Like, that's irritating. It's, it fixed it, but what caused it? You probably pressed something by accident. Possibly, or it might be the fact we shut down that live stream and then just use that same window to open up another one. It didn't open it up properly, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Just throwing random ideas. Spent a whole bunch of time this weekend, uh, the other leg, sorting out bits, boxes, or trying to. Right. I will end up putting some more green stuff on this, I think. Because this sculpting was terrible, this was before I even had any uh, sculpting tools, it was just the pin. So it's not the greatest. I wouldn't mind getting some liquid green stuff for some of these conversions just to help smooth out parts of the model. It dries up so damn fast though. Yeah. I heard it's really good for texturing stuff. That I can't say. No, you've not tried it. Um, only for GW one, and I've only used it for filling gaps, you know. That works pretty well for that here. Yeah, basically what it's for. This arm will be a, probably a little bit too big. I like this one, it's getting somewhere. Um, snip that down. Yeah, it's weird having that break and then coming back. Because you kind of get into the flow of it, but also trying to see if it's beneficial for us to do so. so. We'll give it a couple of weeks and see what happens. Yeah. Um. Well, we can be flexible. That's a bit shorter than I, I wanted it to be. That one's going to get in the way of the underarm. Yep. Always something, so I need to build something in there. Maybe I'd take this piece off actually. Yeah. 
not sure where the shoulder pads for this one's gone. You should have some massive shoulder pads somewhere. Well, the massive shoulder pad I made for the Typhon was a bit much. Which is a project I'm looking forward to working on again. You're practicing on some unimportant stuff first. I just seeing what, what I could come up with. So I've got some rough ideas for arms. Um, these two pieces were always part of the design, so there we're going on. And this arm should be quite fleshy. Um, that's three arms. We're going to need to figure out the other one, but that just seems a bit, bit large compared to the other two. Legs, no idea. Uh, I've always been stuck on the legs for this. Unless I can find, I don't know. I, mean, I could just do the uh, metallic legs. Oh yeah. And just have the fleshy bits warping out the top. I mean, that Where the orc is. Works. Yeah, kind of makes sense. But can I find all the parts to build these legs? That's a challenge. I think I still have a sprue for that. I might have. You sound proper competent there, mate. Mm. Um, trying to figure out what part's what. So many kill kind of death dread sprues. I don't save a lot of interchangeable. Pretty much, that's why I was going to put them all in, in one, um, what's it called, one box, but they wouldn't fit. Because you have too many. Yeah, far too many. So what you've been up to anyway, Martin? You are the only guy in the chat that makes you like some VIP guest or something. to the uh, weird mutated look. So that's one, two, three arms. I'm also gonna put flamethrowers on these. This bit, although it looking good, doesn't look right when I put the claws on it. Three flamethrower arms, one power claw. It's a bit too much on the flamers, I think. No such thing. His real power comes in if I'm just smashing things up though. If I remember, the, the points cost of the Scorchers on these used to be very expensive. All upgrades to free. Well, fair enough. Um, I've got part of one of these Scorchers here. And I wouldn't mind it having at least one Scorcher on the minimum. How we're gonna achieve this though. Always gotta think so much before making a cut. And Martin says, hey now, I thought I was VIP guest regardless. Martin says, trying to cool my house off, it's a tad hot again. Not surprised, everyone's struggling with heat apparently from the chat earlier yeah sounded like Newcastle was pretty warm not around here though it's just muggy around here really still air and, and it's just muggy because of all the rain we've been getting we had a thunderstorm almost every night I don't know about your end yeah we were getting a lot of storms I 
have all the bits I could ever want most of the time and I can never find them. Where is the other parts of these legs? This might be them. Ah, oh, I think it is. There we go. I mean, one of the plans originally was to make his feet or legs warped as well. Well, leaving them as they are, as they should be, will make a lot quicker. Yeah, I'm sure there's some other bits that go onto these to make them look even bulkier as well. Right, so I found parts of the leg. Most of them should be in this bits box. And you can't see them because they're too low down off the camera. Right, there we go. Some legs. Just realised a bunch of that's accidentally been sanded at some point. Ah, I can bullet popped up to say the rain has been belling it down today, most of the day though. And also, oh check, I knew as soon as I started in the chat. Home, oh, gotta go, sorry. Um, I think I read that wrong. Also my chat box is slightly askew at the moment, so I'm not sure if I'm... Ah, there's more in it, that makes sense. It's really windy now, though, and then King Bollock also says, Oek, I knew as soon as I started in the chat my wife would come home. Gotta go, sorry. See you later, buddy. Yeah, catch you later, mate. Why is the chat like this? It's bloody irritating. It's a mild inconvenience, though. Alright. I thought there was some more for the feet. They look like they belong on there. have dead death ready instructions still for some reason. Check the parts on that. Ah oh, okay, so yeah it would have been like multiple options there on the feet. Could have sworn there was more armoring on those legs though. Makes sense that for isn't because it orcs wouldn't have made it to be sturdy but it just made it to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, two engines on the back with all the bits popping out. Makes sense. I have no idea where my uh, shoulder pads are. I bet they're in another box somewhere. There's a whole bunch of those missing somewhere. Uh, kind of sucks. So I like scoured the entire house as well. Like, and I still can't find them. So Andy's suggestion was they're probably in a box within a box somewhere, and that makes sense. I also found that I had a uh, ten looters. I'll bet you've got about that. Mm. No, I've got some ideas for those as well.
trying to find those extra parts now for the toes. Or else I can think of something more interesting than just bonging these toes on. And the dinky feet of the uh, Kyokan does make the rest of it look bigger. I might have uh, more bits and pieces dripping out here at some point. I think I'm going to strap those on because I don't feel like um, mutating those legs too much. I could. Oh, I don't know. Alright, where's the glue? I can never have enough bits though. I couldn't believe it yesterday. I tied up all the stuff and I'm still in my bits box it's like nope not enough no such thing as enough bits though is there no nah. there's always something missing what you could do with The bits from the is it them snow ogres with the mammoths as well, they've got some cool parts on them. Yep. Like the uh, bones and things are decorating the outside of this. something resembling legs. Still debating whether to take this top bit of armor off here and uh, file that down. These claws just don't look right coming out of that top end. And they might do. file that part down there and uh, blend the two in together. That's the second layer of highlights done. That was done with a 50-50 mix of the Dark Reaper and, well, so no, not the second. I want to, third layer of highlights done, sorry. That was uh, done with a 50-50 mix of Dark Reaper and Fenrisian Blue. Graven. Next is going to be Fenrisian Graven. I'm going to be adding Hellbound Flesh into it for the top layers and little touches of white and that'll get the edge of highlight all where you want it to be. And that is a great start to a Legionnaire uh, of a Damned to eventually get to something like that. I always wondered why the kill counts didn't come with these parts, the blasters. It was a bit weird. Just can't use them. Well, they had the um, custom blasters in the old editions and in the kits, but the kits never came with those. Ah, yeah, that's why they changed the uh, rules so you can only put what's in the kit. A lot of uh, armies were getting similar. A lot of armies got similar treatment. It's like um, you, in night vision, um, you can only give so many chaos, uh, chaos terminators choke. Um, Combi weapons. Yeah. And you can only have a certain amount of each type. You can only have like two metal guns, two. Yeah, to stop the spam, isn't it? 
It was, but we're also they claimed it was uh, because of the kits didn't have them. Yeah. Well, put some in-games workshop. Well, yeah, you charge enough for a kit. I find it weird that they had a whole bunch of issues where they um, stopped selling models because they didn't have those models and they couldn't keep a copper on them, but somehow you have knob bikers in the codexes, but no, I can't go into Games Workshop and buy a box of knob bikers. I find that one really odd. Yeah. I only really thought about it the other day. Do you want some more detailing on here? So either this piece or the other piece that looks exactly like it. Just want to figure out which way I want it. Uh, we're going to open up the back of the model as well, I think, so we can do some green stuff work. <sighs> well, usually that's chimneys stacked on there as well, so I want to collect a whole bunch of them. Uh, build them up, but I'm going to need to find or buy a whole bunch of plastic cards so I can make my own because although this com comes with some um, it won't have as many as I want because it never does, it's never enough parts yeah, it's got these bits that are for sticking the part on Pretty good start, but I'd rather have it, you know, stuck coming out of some flesh. So that's one part there, and there should be another one of those. model really old bit of armor Been it a few times shoulder pad that's probably not big enough for this model I have them on my own now. I'm 100% actually. I haven't bought one in ages. I think this is one of your metal guns, mate. Me. Yeah. There's a magnet in it. Me. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I know where it is if I need it. Right, of course I can't find that last bit. There's two. Oh, there's the other one. Right. It wasn't even in the box, it was on the desk. Where you'd put it? Yeah. I'm not sure when I put it there. Like, you know the old, the old clan that I used to hang out with on uh, PlayStation? Yep. Yeah, John's decided to keep posting really terrible jokes into one of the group chats, like how do, how do parents of a how do a blind kid's parents punish him? Move the furniture around. <laughs> and then 
over so there's a whole bunch of very spicy stuff I can't put on here yeah see how the rest of the model is going to stand and look. Oh, I've come all over all tired. Yeah. I do want some sense of this leaning forward. Um, The underneath here is not going to be important to see anyway. I give them credit for that. We've we've done it. The pose on these is superb. Yeah. design process on the, the live stream is me faffing back and forth so. and rambling and rambling if it get boring I apologize um, so now this is hellbound flesh gonna mix that 50 50 with the blue uh, sorry the uh, Fenris and obviously as you can see I'm gonna be uh, highlighting in progressively smaller sections. Uh, that will be where the shoulder pad goes on, if I can ever find them. But the design was to make it look like he's been wired and mutated through here as well. So the problem I'm having is I did all the hydraulic bits for this, so it looks like it's connected but it was for a different model. So. It seemed a bit too much for that model, but it seems to work quite well for this one. And that's where we're going to uh, turn this into a giant open wound with a circular saw in it, because that would just be nasty. I had contemplated taking these pincer bits off and uh, replacing some of these long fingers. Um, so it looks like it would uh, yeah so we still have that open shape from either side and then uh, have it coming out both sides there I don't know what do you guys think or was this arm already excessive enough really annoying me that that bit doesn't fit in properly now because it wasn't designed for this it's also a little bit cramped uh, for this part blue tack Okay, now for the Hellbound. Right, onto the outside edges now. Just on the touches. Followed in by a final bit of white dot right on the apex of it, every point. With this, there's a quite, if I attach stuff across here, I could bulk this out and make it look a a little bit more natural potentially, so that's something. What do you guys reckon? Just gotta figure out the pose. Might even have to take this bit off. Shame. 
You know when you glue things, right? With uh, Citadel glue. Yep. yep. And usually you can pull them apart really, really easy. I'm saying, well, what I'm getting at is the irony of like bits you uh, fragile, you, you really want to stay on, never stay on. Oh yeah. And when you decide you want to take one off, it's decided to fuse to that. Like there is, yeah. Like it's the same piece. It's like nope, same one. It really looks like it wants to stay there. That doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. <sighs> oh well. I think if I can get that off, I can work that in and just extend this a different way. Although it really sucks that I've obviously deformed the other piece of this. It has deformities. This is the bit on the live stream where the knife slips, isn't it? It was right through my finger. Probably. It's usually the case. I think we've both done it on the live stream at some point. Yep. And you kind of condition yourself to being it's stabbed in the finger. It's like, oh well. That's new and interesting. Alright. It's moving. Almost there. kind of works. This Come would uh, be sunk in more there because a the blue tag wouldn't be there. I'm just going to tidy this up uh, with the black again. Still got the spare part here as well, in case I need to bond that back on. And that, to get it to that, from no highlights on the armour, was only 20 minutes. Now, you can take a bit more time and how it's a lot better obviously yeah. this guy's been on my table for a little while so really just sort of wanted to get him out of the way I'm just going to uh, again go back round any tidying up that he's doing just to uh, thin them highlights down a bit I 
obviously any areas where I know I'm going to be painting the flames I'm not going to worry so much about uh, as they're going to get covered up largely a pain in the arse of getting the model and the pose you want. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get some fire on this bad boy. <coughs> Pardon me. No. All right, I'm done. I am not pardoned. I don't pardon you. It doesn't really matter if someone does. I think it's just an old saying that's stuck. Not about that other day. Just weird stuff people say. And when you think about it, it doesn't even make much sense. I can't remember the exact example now, but you know the sort of like stuff I'm on about. Yeah. Tradition. Yeah. Uh, and when you think about it, what's what's tradition? Well, we did it before, so now we're doing it again. Yeah. All right then. So these flames are basically just the darkest red you've got, and I'm going to go around doing well wiggly lines because that's basically all you do. Wiggly lines at the different lengths. Um, this is using Hastel Purple, which is technically red. And I'm going to go all around the model doing wiggly lines, vaguely fl flame shaped. I think it'll need a bigger shoulder um, to make it look like it fits properly. Now you can't really see this at this stage, um, not on camera anyway. Something with that shoulder socket there, probably be sculpted. Because the colour is so dark going over a, a black. And if you're wondering what Andy's talking about in the background, he's still live streaming on Twitch at the moment. And he is painting his in. Um, like, I almost said Imperial God, then he's painting his uh, Legion of the Dam. Yep. The link for that should be in the description. Uh, deciding on the arm. It's just starting to look a little bit cramped, that's all. Concept of having like mini arms, but this seems to be getting in the way a bit as well. Uh, I don't know if I can get the camera angle right. Uh, you need to start visualizing what it'll look like on the table. That's going to be difficult because they look weird. Well, I've got to make sure none of the parts are banging into the other parts when I put them on here. So I glue something and try and glue the other bit in and it doesn't fit. That's not going to be helpful at all. But it's happened before. It'll probably happen again at some point. Oh yeah, it's, it's uh, almost guaranteed, isn't so it? This arm makes me want to extend those legs just a little bit longer. Go, go gadget legs. Making some stilts. Might work. Right. 
So originally, these are going to be two scorchers, which I might still do, but just for just to make it easy on myself with the look. She's got the look. She's got the look of Krakow. So I have a whole box here full of kill can arms as well I can muck around with. But you have all of them? Yeah, that, that's basically like my entire army is just all the bits. None of the models. Well, I've almost got a model. One or two. They're almost. You got one that's ready for painting. That's true. I want to do that flight standy on him. Yeah, it's the it's the one that broke, isn't it? Oh, I found some more missiles as well the other day, which was handy. Because you've been looking for some. I have. The only problem with doing it on this uh, model holder is getting into these cross visa assault marines assault intercessors sort of dynamic poses getting underneath into the leg on some of them is really really tricky itchy nose time <laughs> You have an allocated time for that. Yep. Right. I'm that organised, I even factor in it's time to scratch my nose. Cool. It's got to be done, mate. Otherwise, things get disjointed and you never know where. When well, you're going to end up with an itchy nose. Exactly, mate. Got a plan for these things. It's a dangerous really business. Make this arm work. I'm not quite sure how. I still think this model needs some more parts. Or it needs to look like it's a bit longer. So I got the camera work guy to move my camera recently. It's never a good idea. Well, it seems like it should be out here, so that would be quite a lot of green stuff to put on there. So the next layer is Antares Red, uh, and this is the first time you're really going to be able to see it on camera. I mean, you can still you can see some of the yeah, colour there. Let's do that this far out. But um, so now this bright red will make it much more visible. Yeah. Which is really annoying because I pulled off that back bit, didn't I? It turns out it doesn't even look right that way. Okay, so. Yeah, I think I need about that much distance. Uh, that's gonna be fun. We still have the previous part that we've like taken off here. Where's that going? If I can remember which way it's supposed to go. Like so. I'm not just going to glue that straight back on there, though. I need to extend this arm. Main reason the other arms underneath are look really cramped otherwise. I want to put some uh, bells on here from the Death Guard kit. Add some more detailing around here as well. Uh, nothing. It's this drill hole where I was going to put more cables and put those down into the uh, Nurgle bit. Right. 
course, I'm looking at the moment through this box of uh, kill cam bits because they, you know, also awesome match up very well. Yeah, they'll be the right size, won't they? Should be able to make something to extend that arm this far. Make it a crane. <laughs> crane I might do that on one of the other ones. Not long that. Sounds weird, but it's an old vehicle, isn't it? You know, a crane arm would make it telescopic, and that's, you know, logical thinking. Well, these bits don't look too bad, actually, and I've got some clean ones somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, this is the kill cam box, put that one away. I want to pull out the Death Dread one. This is so slow. It does seem like the kill cam box got the majority of the parts. What from, from the from uh, all the yeah the bits that are this this size? Um, I'm guessing that's just because there was like there's twelve of them in there now. Ah, yeah. right, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Maybe I can cobble. Uh, whole arm out of this. This death dread's been sat around in a box unfinished for forever. A long time. Like really, really long time. What's everyone else up to today? It's usually a bit quiet because it's Monday. Just yet. This is roughly where we're going. potential there. Yeah, there's potential to uh, bond that on actually, stick that in there. As armor plating. And the underneath bit. Attack, but it won't stick. That would be. I prefer that as the top piece. It's one of the reasons all the scratches on the detail work there. They look pretty good. It's not that I couldn't scratch up the other piece, but it also looks like that I could fit. Here and um, here now bond that quite well. This will then look like yeah, armor to cover up to where that detail bit is. Um, stay there.
Well, I think either of them work and uh, definitely extend the uh, that arm the way I want it to be extended. Sure, they go for that one. I think that looks alright. The thing about doing five the way I do it is it takes seven different layers. Looks good for it though. Yeah, it does look good. But, uh, can be a bit of a pain. So now I'm using Antares red, which is kind of an orange rather than a red. Don't be afraid to leave gaps in the layers. Um, adding, leaving gaps between one layer and the next. So you don't want to uh, fully cover each layer. Um, just adds to the effect. And just keep on doing wiggly lines. The more wiggly, the better. Uh, the less uh, pattern. So wiggly lines and I got that old advert stuck in my head from uh, the, the wiggly worms just can catch us. The old kids toys. So. Oh them little furry things what you put on a what were on a string. Yeah I think so. Yeah I used to have one. They're cool. It's weird how theme tunes on the old TVs stick in your head forever. One thing that always confused me about was um, Lionel from Thundercats. Mm -hmm. Sort of omen, give me sight beyond sight. You can see about three feet in front of you. Yeah. You didn't see the thing, what could nearly hit you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, sort of omen, don't give me sight beyond sight. Just give me the ability to see something. And that's what it is. Sort of Roman, make my eyes work properly. <laughs> well, if it did, then you wouldn't have to ask every time. Yeah. yeah his arm's definitely going to need an extension. Extendo arms! Yeah, it needs to be bigger than it is. Uh, then his legs are going to look proper tiny. Well, that's cool, though. Should see the new Space Marine Dreadnought. It looks like it doesn't know where Illegday like, exists. Oh, I think it's shown me that one, yeah. Yeah, the new, basically the uh, new version of the old pattern Dreadnought. Yeah. The double gun one. I remember having that conversation and it looks daft because if it's supposed to be a gun platform, wouldn't it be like. How like heavy it like, to the ground, yeah. Yeah. Like massive feet. So it can embed in. And then, uh, you know take some of that recoil. Apparently not in 41st millennium, mate. We don't need to worry about things like that. What, like physics? Yeah. Oh. It's good to know about they've learned how to ignore physics. Well, in the future? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a, hand, that's a handy trick, right? You know about those immutable laws of reality? Yeah, not anymore. Don't worry about it. 
with well, with tech car way out. According, according to um, according to physics, bees should be able to fly, but bees just don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's like bees are doing it anyway. Yeah, it's like screw you. <laughs> Gravity, get bent. Uh, this is Mars Orange for the fourth layer. What I might have to do is green stuff that into a position and then let it dry and use the green stuff that I put in position later as the template to build everything else onto. Provided you don't green stuff it into an uncomfortable position. Like the back of a Volkswagen. <sighs> Lots of positioning in trying to figure this out. Kind of awkward that uh, the shape follows the exact same shape of that arm as well. So it's just like I don't like it when things do that. Looks too uniform, rather than you know. I don't like symmetry. Not on my orc army. Still trying to figure out the best way to get these to work. The ball joints definitely fit in, that's not a problem. Get them to look right with these claws. I could actually just stick a flamer straight on instead of using this arm, at least on that side. How do you use the gun? Just bolt the gun to the side, I mean that's an option. Well anyone who's watched the live stream for a while and watched me work on Warg Decay knows I sit here fiddling around for ages till I've exhausted all of our options. And then to pick from my list of random ideas. That no, arm's still a bit too big. Would be cool though. Leave it too big, man. His, his legs are just gonna look uh, ridiculous though at this point. Don't mind. I mean, as in, I don't think you'll be able to see them through all the other bits. Doesn't matter. <laughs> now I'm using Marduk Yellow. I want the back of this. It's a nice bright, vibrant colour. And as you know, flames are brighter down at the bottom, uh, which is something I forgot on this one, which was the test piece, uh, or oh, would be nearly two years ago now. And uh, yeah, I painted Where's the, all the time go? I painted the flames the wrong way around, because um, yeah, I'm a genius. I think I've done that myself, mate. It's very easy to do. Yeah. Because you get into the groove of highlighting things, and highlighting's always done at the top. Yep. Do I paint flames, paint them separate than any other highlights? Because you'll do it wrong without thinking. Yeah, so keeping more of that other colour showing, just starting to see the flames really start to pick up now. And starting to actually look like we've got some heat to it. So it is, it is time consuming doing it this way, um, but it's definitely worth it, uh, but a little bit of extra effort. Because it is very easy. It, 
even with these really awkward um, sections like on this leg, well, you, the important thing is just make sure you don't paint straight lines. And the calls will do the rest for you. piece that can uh, set and then be re-sculpted and worked on later, something solid to uh, drill into. Just doing all this work on this arm, it's going to be heavy, uh, it's going to need to be pinned. And That's how you're doing a frame. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just going to replace that blue tack with this and then obviously it's green stuff's pretty soft so if I want to cut anything down later on, get the hobby knife and cut it down, sculpt back over it. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm liking this positioning, kind of, you know what I mean, I get a bit better, but this plus that metallic part starts to really make it look like it's um, extruding from the uh, model itself. Yeah, yeah. What I might do is, oh, that's a, not a bad idea, with the way it's looking and the arm is, I might have the other arm doing something and coming straight out. Just, uh, like a pointing or something. The next layer is Lilith Yellow, which is very pale. Um, very much on the white end. Now you can leave it, uh, once you've uh, got this colour, you can leave it at that. I tend to go a little bit lighter to an almost whitey yellow, uh, just to just finally brighten everything up. But. Lilith or the equivalent um, is plenty. So if you want to save yourself, you know, a little bit of time without any real loss of effect, you know, just cut the last layer out, or maybe um, miss out one of the earlier reds as well. And cut it down to four, five uh, layers. I wouldn't cut it down any further than that because otherwise the jumps are just too much. Heresy Legions. Oh, yeah. Noxious Strike, the new epic card for the Death Guard, I'm guessing. Yeah, it sounds about right. What's it do? Oh, I don't know. Alright, no, it doesn't tell you. What did I you didn't just... click on the thing, I was um, just checking these other messages. I usually just swipe it away, I don't even know I've got it. I've played it in ages. I've just started playing it again. Yeah. Here's one of those you sort of don't play for you just pick it up, play for a while, yeah. put it back down. And finally is Hanky Yellow, which is the lightest yellow we own. And it's pretty much about as light as you can get without going to white. Yeah. A bit of that into his eyes as well. No, that's not enough green stuff. It's not as far away from the model as I would like it. Oh, 
bought fingers today. about the right distance. Positioning it might not be perfect but uh, it's just a template, a bit of green stuff. And there we have it, a little over an hour and the armor's done from start to finish. One legionnaire of the damned. That's not bad if you've only got 10 to do, 10 hours work for your unit. Yeah. Is that all the flames or the entire paint job? All the armour. Ah. From no highlights to all the highlights of the armour done and the flames from start to finish. Nice. So obviously not factoring in the trim and the detail work, but the armour itself, literally an hour. There you are. Uh, not the Games Workshop butt plug. Looking good. Another man done. Not sure if we cut this piece out or to actually embed it in here. Um, embedding it in while the green stuff is there might actually work better. Right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Don't think I can make it any lower because of the paper clip. How low can you go? There we are. Move a base box or somewhere. the actual games workshop bases in. Yeah. Hmm. Right, okay, I'm gonna promo to a 40 mil base, he can be an officer. Yeah, that was a quick promotion. That was the first one I did, so ah. And you buy squads in fives, so I want to do with a fit, uh, six bloke. You know what I mean? What you do with six blokes is your business, Andy. Hey. Well, keep it on the weekend. What happens on the weekend? Usually it leaks into Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yeah, probably. And by that time, it's pretty much the weekend again. Uh, can I pile up? Grab that poly, mate. Alright. Thank you. And a nice big drill bit with a drill. Mm. Don't have to change it because you're going to need it back. You actually have different drills for different sizes. Yeah. Try and keep them that way. Yeah, exactly. It's not bad. Well, I think. That would start to look okay when done. Live stream is not really picking up either, um, considering we took that break. A bit of a bugger. 
It is a shame. Well, it's also Monday. Yeah, we'll keep testing it for a bit, but if there's no... If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. No. No great loss. We just do the long ones. Yeah. Well, this green stuff is just going to stay there anyway. It's not going to be the perfect shape yet, but... Got to start somewhere, mate. Yeah. It's a very complicated arm. It did, though. It definitely did seem like the right arm for this particular model once it was put next to it. Was that one you made for that? Uh, for Mike. Uh, you know, the Kill Cam project and... It just got carried away and became far too big for that. But it looks pretty reasonable on this one. Fair loose. So it won't waste it wasted. Nope. And hopefully it will look suitably horrific. These are winding me up though. I could cut these bits off here but it adds extra details but even if I did cut these off attaching these straight on because it's round into the square is uh, also a bit tricky I probably should have glued these on a little bit lower as well apparently I didn't glue them on Yeah, the uh, uh, the actual extre uh, extremity part extremity parts of the uh, model, oh. which confused me when it started breaking off. Oh, there's always something breaking off of a model. Plastics, it's not so bad once you start gluing it properly. Yeah. Especially if it's pushed this on, they stick together well. Gonna have to dig out his giant um, shoulder pads at some point. I know I've got some because it's a kill cam. You know what's gonna be really depressing? What? These legionaries, these basic dudes, actually uh, look better than the Blade Guarder did. So they've got their, their flames in the old style. Yeah. Uh, it's got a message. Say, say, Russell. Russell Alexandra says, Hi, friend. Hello! How's How are it going, you? mate? Welcome to the live stream that's sort of slowed down at this time of day. Everyone's tired from the weekend. No one ever gets enough sleep on a Sunday. No, there's always something happening, whether or not you want it to. That's true. Um, I should have a bunch of these somewhere. So how the devil are you, Russell? Yeah, what do you play, what do you collect? If you're interested, um, if you're wondering who that second voice is, uh, that'll be me on Twitch, um, as uh, we dual we call we dual stream on uh, both YouTube and Twitch. All right. Uh. I've seen the other shoulder pads in a while, but. There's some here, so I can at least get gauge what that might look like. Or I could build my own. Which is more likely. Yeah, it's probably more likely. I can cast some texture. 
you know the uh, flooring texture uh, for the metal floors with the little marks across it mm -hmm. cast that and then bend it as it's setting um, you can make a lot of um, interesting stuff doing that or we can find some chaos shoulder pad bits so we'll look. keep your hands off the chaos bits all your chaos bits are mine most of my chaos bits are so bitty, uh, you won't want them anyway. You'd have to reassemble each weapon. Bitty! Bitty? Bitty. Game of Thrones. John Aaron. I can't remember that. Remember the that. thing about the, the kid who was still drinking from his mum's breast at like 10. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm with you now. And we, we don't talk about Game of Thrones no more. No, definitely not the latest stuff. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, such a good series as well. Such really good books. Yeah. And then. Have you um, nope. tried out El Silver Dragon? Uh, say that again, mate. Did you try uh, House of the Dragon? No, not yet. We're just about finished Better Call Saul. So I, I was wondering if it were any good or so. Uh, I've heard uh, good I'm things. Not, I'm not seeing it yet. The problem is, the next series ain't due out for another two years or something, retarded. Well, that's that's a long time to develop another series. Yeah. Guns, 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 guns. More guns. More guns. So we currently have three viewers. How's everybody doing? Join me at a weird time. I'm basically making a template for this uh, with the green stuff. I want to keep it in place and then you know screw and drill into the green stuff it's also very easy to file down or cut apart I think it pose will look okay always struggling to get my poses just the way I want them though Trendy ass poser. A lot more green stuff needs to be done on this conversion. Hmm. Uh, oh, four. So there's no point actually doing any more painting. I mean, even with it, even with being able to do it in an hour, still not quick enough but what I can do is get the uh, bases prepped for Thursday Wednesday yeah it should yeah be Wednesday won't it yeah that's we live stream three days of the week at the moment benefit of having these all these boxes um, right next to me I can do something put it away move on to another something do something get bored do something else yeah, rinse much. and repeat story of my life mate so the back of there I'm going to run more of that cable in cable um, piston into there um, Start making it look a bit better. Try and leave that to rest in the correct position in his uh, box for conversion. Put all those bits in there and just grab another project because I can do that now. Yep. Because we can. It's just the way we like it. Stay in roughly the same place. Got 
me some PVA, got me some models of glue. I've got me a whole box of knobs. You have more than one? Mm. These are actually knobs, they are. I can't remember what they're called now. Something else. They're from the fantasy range. It's slightly. Uh, Iron Boys, wasn't it? Yeah. Iron Jaws or something like that. I mean. I should probably Google the uh, size of new boys and knobs before starting this. Eh, it doesn't matter, does it? I don't know because I might actually be able to make my life easier. <laughs> well, at least attempt to. And one of us is going to do that. There's more chance of me not stripping this entire army this year. Told you, you don't want to strip the whole thing. Re replace units, sell the old ones. <laughs> that is the correct way to do things. Yep. Is it the way I would? I'm likely to do it. No. Yeah, exactly. You're getting a hoof one day, and then that'll be that. And yeah. It'll all be stripped, and then I'll a month later, balls. when you're painting, you'll be like, "Why did I do this?" Very old, old conversions that aren't really up to scratch. We do give you good base points. They do. Yeah. Surprised how many I had. Um, I started looking through the box. They just kept popping up everywhere. It's just like Oaks do. Aye. Well, that was a dwarf. That too. These aren't going to be awkward at all. Right. Let's put them in the right one. Each of these two halves of the models. There's also different types of no build I want to do as well because obviously I want my uh, I'm going to eventually have a unit of everything so I need some flash kit models too well if you're going to do bad rock just get bad rock because he's cool oh, I've got a bad rock model have you actually got him? Uh, no one I was uh, building from scratch ah. his gun was ridiculous oh uh, yeah I remember him He was pretty much the only special character he ever used, wasn't he? Yeah, because the flash gates were so bloody good. Well, they were. I don't know how they are anymore. Yeah, everyone's still learning with the new... Um... I've not even looked at... Uh, the only time I've looked at Orc stuff is for, um, for you. I'm not yeah. really... You've not really been digesting the information reciting what you've read yeah just take basically saying you need to know this you wanted to know this for unit sizes or whatever so just letting you know what you need to know but you know GW's battle app has made life easy uh, at least yeah I haven't got storage on my phone for it at the moment it's kind of annoying yeah that sucks I delete loads and loads of stuff and then before I know it my phone's been full again. Spicy meatballs. No, I don't do anything. It just like it just decides it's full and I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's probably just an old phone, mate, knackered. Yeah. Here's a bit. So um I'm not doing a new phone till next year, so I won't be able to help you out. 
I think oh, like this one works, it's just I need to clear the whole thing out. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, I forgot to put those parts back away. I can see that being a constant problem. Right, where's the other half of this guy? Standing like fantasy orc and then the 40k orc, these are definitely a bit taller. The angels are bigger, they're actually meant to be bigger. Yeah, so I'm sticking with the iron jaws for the most part, it's gonna cost me a fair bit. Or is there some cheeky way of doing what people did with Space Marines originally to just make them a bit taller? Oh, uh, put elevators in the knees and the, yeah. at the feet and in the knees and shoulders. That could work. Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, figure it all out before I start hacking everything down. I did find some new uh, awesome knob sprues, but I think these are old. I don't even know if we've got new knob models. I've been not paying too much attention. Uh, I, honestly, I'm not sure, mate. I'm gonna go for a wave and I'll let you find it out for you. Well, I'm gonna stop recording here, uh, streaming here, because, uh, well, there's no one watching, so I may as well. Yeah, makes sense. I might stick around on the live stream for a little bit longer just because I've got three viewers that seem to be uh, watching what we're doing. Yeah, no, yeah. I will probably be finishing it about five ish. That way, me and Andy have done, I don't know, two live streams today at two hours long. So hopefully, they will be more fun for people to watch broken down as well. Let's see, that's uh, one. Two, three, four, five, five knobs. What I want to make out of these is a unit with scorchers, just because I think that would be fun. But repositioning and then converting these so that the yeah, so that they stand right and they're all going to be slightly nervously like the. Um, these are the conversions that I did. You know I mean, the example here, like if you look at these side to side, they're not that much bigger, really. I've had plenty of thoughts about upgrading my knob size to a ogre size, but that's a hell of a lot of work and a hell of a lot of parts. I just want the knobs to look a little bit bigger, to be honest. They stand out more. Could glue this together. But I'm not sure how I'm going to convert it just yet. And the extra armor, that's probably going to bulk them up a little bit. Uh, knob kit, won't it? Yeah, you wanted to know about size and scale, really. Lots of parts here. Are they just, uh, they're just random iron jewels, I think. stomach will actually just fit straight over that. That's kind of what I was trying to do with these. Back then I was nowhere near as good at sculpting. I'm gonna need 
rotator four on this one. I mean, sorting the shoes from fantasy to 40k shouldn't be too difficult. flash gets much different next time I will um, give them big backpacks full of uh, ammunition or something with slightly different guns well the snaz guns to look uniform so people can tell what they are for the um, OBs you have to cut those down as well just keep that gorilla look yeah uh, got a size comparison have we I haven't got a size comparison but I've got the image of the kit yeah. and there's a grot at the side of it True. they do, they do look different. bigger this than the regular old boys oh these are the same old knobs here they, they haven't changed them all right, there you are then. If that's the current one, now they haven't changed. Just, um, still them square bodies with the uh, clip-on arms. It's the exact same kit. Fair dues then. Now you know what uh, roughly so, size. Yeah, so nothing's changed there. You know what's going to happen, don't you? You didn't make your own. Uh, I met my own. You know what happens after that, don't you? The second it starts getting somewhere. Yeah, well, the fact that they're out of stock online indicates that they're... Um, they may be reboxing. Have them we done it again? We did it with Fabius. Yeah, Have possible, we done yeah. it again? Where um, I start doing the conversion and then Games Workshop's like, here's a new kit for this. You go, uh, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see. But I'm, I'm calling it though. I'm saying that's what's going to happen. Uh, they weren't too bad. Uh, they kind of looked a bit off anatomically. God, my converting sucked back then. <laughs> Need to be a bit better at sculpting. The armor plating on these bits don't look as big, so that's a bit weird. It means I'd have to use that armor plating, which is not something I want to do. The problem I had with the knobs as well was like they were very, very square. So, where would the front for this be? Definitely some good options for arms there. Wonder if they're even the same size. Alright, no arms for fantasy. Slightly bigger, a bit bulkier. Need to 
got to convert them as well to be able, able to hold the weapons that I want. So I'm going to figure that one out. Chat's gone dead quiet. Yeah, don't be afraid of the chat, guys. Yeah, when people talk to us in the chat, it makes mine and Andy's life a lot easier. It gives us something to respond to rather than trying to come up with something to say. Yeah, yeah, it makes it's, life a lot easier. Um, yeah. It also makes the live stream more interesting for you guys uh, because of you know us having more things to say. Right, one, two, three, four. Should be another body here somewhere. very dead in here at this point and I'm just cutting bits off the of sprue so I'm probably going to um, shut down the live stream we've done two today we'll be back on Wednesday afternoon Wednesday afternoon guys um, hopefully I'll find even more parts that I've been looking for and I'll have a rummage for those in the next day or so and get some other work done but well, thanks for everyone who's been watching the live streams today yeah most appreciated we love having you uh, having along Having you, you guys along, and thanks for joining us on uh, on Twitch and on YouTube. Yeah. Um, hopefully, no one will have that Monday feeling on Wednesday. Uh, it tends to get a bit lively on Wednesday, actually. So everyone should be looking forward to that, and we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. TTFN.